Swimming is for everyone, regardless of age, size, and shape. More than a leisure activity, it is also a great cardiovascular exercise. So join me in the swimming series here at SMDZ Jazz Residences in Makati. I am Ed Chung D, and this is The Good Fit. Hey guys! As a competitive swimmer, I will be teaching you professional swimming. Still, here at the pool area of SMDC Jazz Residences. Don't forget to like and subscribe to SMDC's official YouTube channel at the official SMDC. If you're excited, then let's start! When I started being a competitive swimmer, actually when I started, I would consider myself a competitive swimmer. But I said, I don't have to think about it in my mind. Of course, when you're 6 years old, you don't have much thoughts about that. But when I was 7 years old, I said, okay, I don't want to win a ribbon, I want to win a medal. And then it continued until when I turned 13, that was my first time qualifying for the Philippine national team. And I remember yung Southeast Asian age group competition. It's like SEA Games, pero naka by age group kayo. Ginawa siya sa Philippines. Tapos, nanalo, ka, nanalo rin ako. So parang sabi ko, okay, I want to keep on doing this. I want to train hard. I want to make sure that I'm giving my all. Para kapag dating ng competition, it will show. Noong graduate ako up to the last competition that I did with um, Sea Games, Asian Games. I think Asian Games was one of the last few competitions na talaga na ginawa ko because I was ready to move on from swimming. Andun pa rin yung mentality na, ah, okay, kailangan ko siyang galingan, kailangan ko siyang ayusin. Pero kaakibat na nun is the love for your country. Every time you would go for a competition abroad, you will always think about the country already. Not your city, not your team, but your country. A SEA Games, I remember. Ano rin kasi, kapag kunyari SEA Games, may kita mo yung usual mong nakakalaban. Pero kapag SEA Games, yung Southeast Asian countries, mas may, may, may certain level of preparation. Yung Philippines, kami yung pinaka-fun. Ah, that I can assure everyone. Filipinos are the most fun. We are the loudest also. Um, nagagamit namin yung pagiging loud because kapag nag-cheer yung mga audience, Filipinos would really give out their best when it comes to cheering. And nakaka-boost yun ng moral, nakaka-boost siya ng performance. Ang sarap sa pakiramdam kapag chini-cheer ka nung, ng countrymen mo eh. Masarap sa pakiramdam na chini-cheer ka ng teammates mo. So malaking tulong siya. Ang ganda nga na nandito tayo sa Jazz Residence kasi kahit papano, lahat ng resident merong access. Meron silang access sa pool. So they can just come here. Matatansya nila kung gaano kalalim yung tubig. And nakita ko, napansin ko rin kanina, they have a baby pool. They have a pool specifically for kids to play around. So the fact that they play around the water, nai-eliminate mo yung fear. So kapag lumaki sila, wala silang fear na, ah, okay, baka malunod ako kaagad or baka uh, may mangyari sa akin masama. ba growing up, you're becoming friends with water. Y you have this knowledge that you don't have to be fearful about water. Ang gagawin natin today, tuturuan ko kayo ng drills for profession. Ito, maganda to kasi um, hindi kayo masyado mapapagod pero makukuha nyo yung basic principles ng swimming. Number two, how to swim faster. Bibigyan ko kayo ng mga hacks, swimming hacks. Number three, tuturuan ko rin kayo para ma-avoid yung mga injuries. And last but not the least, tuturuan ko kayo ng survival swimming. Kung nawala yung hawakan ninyo, kaya lumubog yung bangka ninyo, tuturuan ko kayo kung paano mag-survive kahit isang oras or dalawang oras kayo nasa tubig. Yun yung mga ituturo ko sa inyo mamaya. So, magpapalit na ako, samahan nyo ako. Oh, 
Today, ipapakita ko sa inyo yung mga different kinds of drills para make sure na maayos yung stroke ninyo. Kung nagtatanong kayo bakit importante yung drills, noong nagsiswimming ako, pinapagawa sa amin ng coach namin yung drills. Kapag feeling niya, meron kaming maling ginagawa sa stroke namin para ma-improve pa namin yung performance namin during competitions. Say for example, ngayon lahat ng ituturo ko sa inyo is a drill for for freestyle. Kasi minsan yung, yung karamihan sa atin ang ginagawa sa freestyle, yung, yung gumaganin yung kamay. But actually, the right way to do it is you lift your elbow up. So once you lift your elbow up, makakabalik kayo doon sa tubig ng mas mabilis. So, di ba? Kesa yung ganito. Di ba? You're, you're, you're exerting extra effort. Ang ginagawa ng drills, tinatanggal niya yung mga extra movement para masave mo yung energy mo at magamit yung energy mo to propel you forward instead of adding extra weight to your body. First drill na ituturo ko sa inyo, catch up. Ano nga ba yung catch up? So, ganito siya. Basically, yung dalawang kamay ninyo nagka-catch up sa isa't isa. Bakit importante ito? Kasi, kapag nakaganito kayo, ang tendency is naaayos yung rotation ninyo, yung body coordination ninyo kapag hinabol ninyo. You're becoming more aware of your body coordination with catch up. Ang susunod naman is brush up. Ang brush up naman is ganito. So, ibig sabihin, itong fingers mo, pinabrush yung tubig. Bakit? Kwensyong bakit importante yung brush up? Bakit kailangan i-brush ng fingers mo yung tubig? So that you will be aware of your elbows. You will know the feeling and the rhythm of your freestyle. Kapag sinasabi ko sa inyo na iaangat kailangan yung elbows. Kailangan iangat yung elbows. Kasi doon mo makukuha at makakabalik yung doon ka makakuha ng mas maraming tubig at maibabalik mo yung kamay mo kaagad sa unahan. Kesa nandito yung kamay mo. Okay? Parang ganito. So umaangat yung elbow and sumasayan yung kamay dito sa tubig. Ang susunod naman natin ay yung salute. Ano naman yung salute? Kapag pinaghalo mo yung brush up at yung catch up. So ang mangyayari is ganito. Through salute, maayos mo yung coordination and at the same time, yung elbows mo sa freestyle. So, madali lang siya. Magpapos ka lang dito, parang sasaludo ka lang. Saludo, balik. Saludo, balik. Saludo, balik. So, mas nagiging aware ka doon sa body coordination mo, doon sa rhythm ng katawan mo, doon sa twist. As promised, di ba sabi ko sa inyo, bibigyan ko kayo ng tip kung paano mapabilis yung swimming ninyo. Kung naaalala nyo noong last episode, doon sa freestyle, kung gusto ninyo bumilis yung freestyle ninyo, huwag lang kayo huminga. That's, that's for competitive swimming. That's a first secret weapon. Second, I always, always tell people, close your hands or make sure na walang lumalagpas na tubig doon sa pagitan ng mga fingers ninyo. Why? Because kapag, nag, kapag nagsustro kayo at ganito yung kamay ninyo, yung tubig lumalagpas lang. So, konti lang yung nasasalun yung tubig. But, if you close your fingers, buo. Lahat ng tubig na dito, makukuha nyo yun, masascoop nyo yun. Hence, you will move forward faster. Para naman sa survival, katulad nga nung sinabi ko sa inyo kung wala kayong kickboard or pool boy, you can repurpose or reuse your empty bottles. Make sure na walang laman tubig and then just hold on to it. Um, kung hindi nyo kaya gawin yung number 8, 
at hindi nyo kaya gawin yung sa paa, which I will teach you later. Kung hindi nyo kaya gawin yun, hold on to anything na merong air sa loob para pwede nyo hawakan yun, hindi nyo kailangan gumalaw, and it will save lives. Trust me, it will save lives. So that's one. Number two, ito yung sinasabi ko sa inyo yung sa paa kanina. So what you do is gumagawa ka lang ng dalawang zero sa ilalim. Yung paa mo gumagawa ng zero. Pero, hindi ko alam kung matuturo ko siya. Pero gumagalit <laughs> Next is yung number eight. Ano nga ba yung number eight na lagi kong sinasabi sa lahat ng basic swimming lessons na ginagawa ko? Yung number eight is basically playing with the water pero just just below the surface pero hindi ganun kalalim. So, ang nangyayari is, kapag kinuha mo yung tubig dito, nasuskup mo siya, and then, eto rin, yung pabalik dito, nasuskup mo. So, yung tubig papunta dito, nagagamit mo to bring you above the water, and this one also brings you to the surface. So, kahit ganito lang yung ginagawa mo, nalilift yung ulo mo sa surface. So, nakakahinga ka ng maayos. Nawawala yung panic, nawawala yung 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 parang extra movement mo sa tubig na save mo yung energy mo. Kaya mo siyang gawin. Kahit isang oras ka nagkaganito, hindi ka mapapagod. Mga kalik ka, pero hindi ka mapapagod. <laughs> common problems. Actually, isa sa mga common problems, totoo yun, number one, cramps. Bibigyan ko kayo ng technique. Kung ayaw nyo makramps, kumain lang kayo ng saging. Yun lang. Saging lang, matatanggal nyo na yung cramps. And... Tandaan nyo, mas importante na makakain kayo ng saging ng something with potassium kapag malalalim yung mga lalangoyan nyo, especially sa mga beach, para ma-eliminate natin yung mga accidents. Kapag nagpa-practice kayo ng isang bagay, kapag tinitraining nyo yung isang sport or yung isang dance move or yung pagkanta ninyo, sa kahit anong bagay, Gumagaling at gumagaling kayo. Natututunan na tututunan nyo kung saan kayo dapat mag-improve. Ang daming tinuro sa akin ng swimming. Ang daming... Ang dami kong nadala from swimming until now. Kahit nagtatrabaho na ako sa show business. Nagagamit ko pa rin yung mga lessons na natutunan ko sa, sa swimming. Maraming maraming salamat sa pagsama niyo sa akin dito sa swimming series here at the luxurious SMDC Jazz Residences. It's been a pleasure to share my knowledge in the sports na mahal na mahal ko. I hope you guys learned a lot at sana na-inspire ko rin kayo na mahalin ang swimming. Don't forget to like and subscribe to SMDC's official YouTube channel at the official SMDC. Remember, there is so much more to life, so be more and live more. This is Entring D, and see you next time sa SMDC The Good Fit.